Hey kids, welcome to unit one, lesson seven, writing methods, exercise number three. Debug the program. The program is supposed to navigate the MyPainter object to the food truck, but it has an error. Find and fix the error in the program. It looks like our sprite is supposed to work her way all the way down to the donut truck. All right, let's look at our code here. This is not the code I wrote in the last lesson. This though is the subclass I wrote in the previous couple of exercises. We have our subclass painter plus, it's getting all of the attributes from the parent class painter. We created its own special method called turn right in there. And everything looks exactly like what I wrote. So let's go back to the other code and see. Let's hit run and see if that gives us any clues. Cannot find symbol my painter. My painter turn right. Hmm. Looks like it's giving the air just to the turn right. Does not look like it's giving the air to the moves. Well, let's think of this cheesy graphic I've been putting up about parent and subclasses here. And you'll see that the painter class, our parent class, has move, turn left, but we never had a turn right method in there. What we did was we created a subclass of that painter class, and we just wanted to tweak it because we said, hey, we want to be able to turn right without just typing turn left, turn left, turn left three times, because that's a lot of wasted lines of code. And that subclass has that method turn right, not the main class. And inheritance only works downstream, not upstream. That means if you inherit money from somebody in your family, they also don't inherit money from you. The money only goes down, same with the house or anything else. That means if we look at my object here, well, it's calling the original painter class, not my subclass painter plus. That's what's throwing the error there. I bet if I instantiate this object instead as painter plus, now when I hit run, it's going to work perfectly fine because the object we created my painter now has access to this turn right method because my painter, the original painter class, didn't have that. Let's see if I'm right. There you go, kids. Looks like that was the reason. The big key takeaway is going to be access. This is going to be something we're going to be working on for the next couple of lessons. And honestly, what my students find the trickiest part of Java is just remembering what has access to what. And we're really going to build on this throughout the rest of unit one. Also, I'm going to start covering the main vocabulary at the end of each lesson's exercises. And on this one, the key vocabulary for lesson seven really is method signature. And that consists of the names and the parameter list. Well, kids, hopefully this video helped you understand methods a little better and access. As always, if you have any questions, come see me. Otherwise, I'll see you on the next video. See you later, kids. Bye. Bye.